It's just a flesh wound. I am fine. I shouldn't let myself be a burden to you. You're not a burden. Don't think that for one second. We need you. All of us. For our sake, please. Stay here, please. Fine. As you wish. You're injured. Get some rest. Everything else can wait. <sighs> All right. As expected, something strange is going on here. Traveler? You're both here. Great. I want to talk to you. I also felt that the space was targeting us, but Yenfei managed to exploit its weakness. <laughs> Leave it to Yenfei to find a loophole. Based on what just happened, we can now confirm our suspicions that space and time function chaotically here. In addition, we must stay vigilant to avoid the traps set for us by this place. Now that we've found the Conqueror of Demons, the next thing we need to do is find a way out. I went back to the Domain again just now, although I couldn't find a new route. It wasn't a completely fruitless trip. My clan has practiced magic for generations, and has created some catalysts that only we know how to use. I recognized something like one of those catalysts in the Domain. Unfortunately, it disappeared as soon as I approached it. I think so. But it's hard to distinguish between reality and illusion here. I can't be sure. Also, I am the only one out of all of us who could know what it would look like. To me, that confirms that this place really is reading our minds. Just like with that door. It's like it's alive, and testing us. By reading our minds and showing us what we want, it creates the reality that we want to be true. Everything it does is either to get us to lower our guard, or to wear us down. If that's the case, it can only have one goal. To trap us here until we die. 
What else could it be? We should prepare for the worst, but we mustn't give up. I've always known there were secrets hidden in the chasm, but even the Qixing have never heard about anything like this. Yelon, when we first ran into you, you said you had something to do. What were you referring to? <sighs> I... was looking for the truth behind the monster invasion from Conria. Please keep everything I'm about to say to yourselves. No one else can know. Otherwise... We got it. <sighs> 500 years ago, a wave of dark beasts from Conria attacked the Seven Nations of Tevat. Naturally, Liyue was also affected. Under Rex Lapis's command, the Millilith fought hard to hold the front line near the chasm. But these were vicious beasts, and this was the most desperate battle Liu had ever faced. At a critical moment, someone distracted the monsters and led them away. Just when all hope seemed lost, the tide turned. The Liu army eventually won the war, but... There were many who never returned. Two of my ancestors took part in that war, and the one who made it back went insane. Everything about it was strange. The current generation of Qixing knows very little about these events, and very few came back from the chasm alive. Finding out the truth has been a waiting game. The day the chasm was unsealed, I put in a request to be transferred here, so I could finally learn the truth of what happened back then. But this place we've ended up in, and the possibilities we're facing, it's all far more terrifying than I'd imagined. <sighs> we can't give up. Right now, our number one priority has to be getting out of here alive. Are you all right? You've suddenly gone quiet. It's not like you at all. Shh. We'll talk later. I'm just processing all the existing clues we have. Maybe the key to our escape is hidden in some detail I've overlooked? I have to go over everything again. All right, well... Oh, don't worry. I won't write down anything that you told us about. No, I meant if you're going to analyze the facts, count me in. <laughs> <laughs> 